we are getting on here this morning. In fact, right now as I'm doing this recording, it is 24 minutes after 9. And I don't want to have another day where I have to end up the video by saying something to the effect of, well, I didn't get as much done today as I had hoped. Um, now, I'm reading my comments here, which is what I do every morning. And as I'm reading my comments, I can uh, see in the monitor, the surveillance monitor that is just above my screen here. Well, a few minutes ago, there was a couple of rabbits out at the carrot patch or the carrot pile. And uh, they were scrapping. And one of the comments said uh, to the effect of, uh, well, I can read it here. It says, we may have to scuttle the ship. And that got me to thinking. Uh, you know, rabbits scrap, people scrap, uh, yeah, and I started thinking, wouldn't it have been a lot better to have scuttled the Bismarck, in other words, every, everybody get into lifeboats and life rafts and, uh, and then, and then uh, sink the ship, and by the time the, uh, the, uh, the British uh, ships came over the horizon, they'd see the uh, Bismarck going belly up, and uh, uh, they'd know that the crew was probably in the uh, lifeboats and they'd get a little closer and they'd see all the lifeboats uh, and, uh, you know, uh, floating around and they're not going to shoot at that. And my thinking is, everybody could have been saved. Doesn't that make so, uh, a lot more sense? It, it does to me anyway. Okay, let's get on with model making here. And, uh, yeah, what do you think? Put it in the comments below. Uh, don't you think it would be better if we just sort of, uh, I don't know, would it be like mutinying or, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm opening up a real can of worms here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I might have uh, people in uh, black coats uh, knocking on my door. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's get on here this morning. Now I know that somebody saw the calendar on my wall and they're probably already typing in a comment. Don't you know it's 2020, not 2017? Well, that calendar is kind of special to me. And I leave it up. I guess I'm sort of a sentimentalist that way. Now, where I think we should put another piece of railing is between here and here. Obviously, somebody could accidentally fall off the back there. So there should be a railing there. And it won't take very much, so we're not going to waste a whole lot. And you may remember from from several episodes ago, I talked about how this this area here was uh, where they stored the, the signal flags. And I had made a joke about how one of the flags was probably a white flag. But you know, the more I think about that, the more I think it probably would have been a good idea. I mean, uh, if you can't beat them, join them. And obviously, when the rudder on the Bismarck was damaged and they knew they were doomed, why not just just give up? You don't have to give them the Bismarck, but at least save your life. When I was a kid, there was sort of a saying, and it went like this. Now, I, I live in North America. I don't know where you live in the world, but, uh, well, some of you do. But the saying used to go like this. It's better to be red than dead. At, now, I know that could be switched around, but uh, uh, I remember hearing that when I was a kid. And uh, the more I think about it, you, you know, maybe it was a good idea. I mean, it doesn't mean you don't have to stand up for what you believe. Um, but, you know, when it gets to the point of... Uh, uh, in other words, why, why are we allowing these political and religious leaders to brainwash us to the point where we're going to sacrifice our lives for their cause. I have recently been informed that there are no stairways on a battleship. Uh, maybe not on any ship. There are no stairways. They're all ladders or gangways. Um, well, that's not true. On the Titanic, they had the grand staircase. Anyway, uh, Let's call this a ladder. You see that ladder going up there onto that deck where we we're going to try and put a railing? Now you notice how the, the, the deck sort of protrudes out and ma ma mates up with the uh, ladder? Now I think our railing should also take a bit of a jog there so that it starts at the left-hand 
handrail of the ladder, so that when a crew member comes up, he doesn't accidentally fall off to the left. Makes sense to me. I have moved you over onto the other side, and I know I'm going to be sort of blocking the light here, but I'm going to try and get a, an idea of what will be the distance from the uh, railing on the ladder Okay, now I'm going to allow for the jog. Okay, let's see how that matches up on a piece of railing. Okay, now uh, clearly we're going to end up with a piece of railing that we're not going to be able to use, no matter which way I cut this. Um, now let's let's assume now that this post right here is going to be at the left hand side of the handrail and that would mean that our little bend is going to have to be about here and if I was to cut these off I could probably sort of attach them to the um, whatever it is that's on the port side of the ship there um, I think I'll just cut it right about here now what I've done is it kind of looks to you like I've cut it the way I said, except that I cut it a mirror image to what I said. I want these posts that you see here to be on the outside of the rails. And so, uh, okay, so we're going to make our little bend right about there. I think that'll be just about right. Now, if I'm going to have a bend where there's no post, I actually prefer a rounded bend. Now, let's turn that up and see what it looks like here. Okay, so what I've done here now in order that the uh, railing doesn't fall off down to underneath the platform there where the uh, little boats are and it's kind of hard to get out I'm sure I, have, I haven't done it yet um, now what I have to do here is push this uh, post so it matches up with the uh, railing on the ladder um, and the blade is leaning up against the deck so that the other end won't uh, fall off but I, I, I just can't get in there easily and see what I'm doing because the camera's right in front of it. Unless I was to put the camera on the other side, I could try that. Okay, I've tried to adjust everything here so that you're not looking up my nose. And you notice the ladder is loose. I think possibly what happened is if I bumped this, this portion here, it, it pulled it loose because the, the other end of the ladder is down on the... Okay, now don't fall off on me. If I just get this to match up and just just do this one... Let's see, now get the ladder back just a little bit. See if I can... If I can push our railing in a tiny bit. Now maybe I can move the ladder back. Oh! Okay. Where's the stop button? Okay. Now what I've done is I have re-glued the rails of the bottom part of the ladder. And um... I'm just going to try and touch this one end up here. Okay. I think I got it. Maybe I should just put a little bit right here. There. I think I got it. Did I get it? 
looks like it. Now, what you can't see from your perspective is the uh, fact that the CA glue made uh, a white powdery mess on the bottom part of the ladder where it touches the lower deck where you can't see. So I'm going to have to repaint that. Maybe I'll show you later. Make sure that this is flush up against the deck. I think it is. Okay, now we should be able to drop our railing down right there without worrying about it falling off. Oh! This is so finicky. Okay, I'm going to just get this post. In the right place. You probably can't see it now. I guess probably my blade is blocking the vision, but uh I'm trying to get this I can get something blunt here to push it back. Maybe that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Okay, now I don't know if you can see that post, but if you can, uh, I'm gonna try and put a little bit of CA right there. And then then we'll straighten this other end around after. You're back on my side now, and I think it's probably safe to take this blade away. And now we just adjust our railing so it matches the other side. And I'm going to try not to over glue. Now I know this is not the best camera angle, but if I have it coming in from the other side, then you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing here. Now, Maybe this is the wrong tool for that. See if we can just hook in. If we can hook in onto this post and pull it back. Oh, I'm wondering if, you know what? I think I've got my bend in the wrong place. It should have been a little bit further more halfway between those two posts because I don't really know if there's anything I can do about that now. What would happen if I get these rails hooked in on the other side like right, right there? I wonder if I can do that. Oh, it's bending. <clears throat> well, maybe maybe it's going to work out all right. Maybe if I just straighten everything out there. Use my little jeweler screwdriver here, which probably looks awfully awfully big to you. Now as I'm sitting here editing this out, I'm seeing something that you're probably seeing too. Yep, the bottom rail. It didn't get pulled out to the other side of the wall. Well, we'll have to fix that later. Now I was thinking of putting a little bit of glue on the uh, along the bottom rail there where it's touching the deck. But you know why? It's, it's not going to fall off. And I can't see anything accidentally bumping it. Um, well, you can sure see the uh, dust on the on the thing, though. I'm going to have to be very careful when I do my final dusting that I don't bump stuff like that because uh, 
anyway. Yeah, let's uh, take a look at the bottom of the of the rungs or the rails rather on the ladder where I'm going to have to repaint. Okay, you can see on the bottom of the ladder there where it's kind of powdery looking. And I had uh, just shaken up this one here, but I'm thinking now that this almost looks like it's a little bit too light. I want something that's going to match the same gray that's on the deck. So I think I better uh, mix up a uh, darker shade of gray. Isn't there a song that goes something like that? Something about a lighter shade of pale or something? Okay, I just shook up this one. It's the uh, Tamiya XF77 and it does appear to be pretty close. Now this is a little bit hard to get in and video at the same time. I'm always complaining about that, aren't I? Just touch that in there. Oops. I'll come in from the other side here a little bit. Okay, we'll let that dry and see how it looks. A little bit of shine up here too, maybe. Get rid of that. Okay, yeah, we'll see how that looks. But that's going to have to be tomorrow. It's getting on this afternoon here. So, all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. And thanks for watching.